हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी आई एस अकेडमी डेली कैंपस केयर इनिशिएटिव लेट एस लुक इन टू दर्स्ट आर्टिकल फॉर द डे टाइडिंग ओवर इंडिया स्टेट शुड एंश्योर ग्रेटर कंप्लायस ऑन एयर पोल्यूशन दिस आर्टिकल टॉक्स अबाउट एयर पोल्यूशन इन दैपिटल सिटी ऑफ इंडिया ओके एंड दर इज वन सी ए क्यू एम दैट इज मैं वॉट इज इट कमीशन फॉर ए क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट what is its function it is tasked with addressing the causes of air pollution in delhi and the adjoining states okay this you have to remember because there is a chance that you might get mcq and they will say match the following with the with their respective functions okay now let us look into the mcq consider the following statements with regard to air prevention and control of pollution act of 1981 okay Central Pollution Control Board (CPCB) was constituted under this Act. No, you have to be very, very careful here because you need to know some basics. Okay, actually, Water Pollution Act, Water Pollution Act of nineteen seventy four, constituted CPCB. Air Pollution Act later expanded expanded its functions. Okay, be very clear about these two points. and spcb state pollution control boards were also constituted under this act water pollution control act okay and cpcb would formulate policies and coordinate activities of different state boards while the state pollution control boards would regulate and establish and enforce effluent standards effluent standards at state level okay this is very important okay now this is wrong second statement an air pollutant under the act may include any solid liquid or gaseous substance including noise yes noise is also considered as a air pollutant next central pollution control board can declare specific areas in the state as air pollution control zones through an official notification after consulting with the state pollution control board See, there's already SPCB in place, so SPCB will look into this particular function. It is not CPCB, okay? So this is wrong. Only one is correct. All right. Next, how is the National Green Tribunal different from the CPCB? This was given in twenty eighteen. The NGT has been established by an act, whereas CPCB has been created by an executive order of the government. No, we just saw it was created through this act. so this is gone which means c is gone a is gone now the ngt provides environmental justice and helps reduce the burden of litigation in the higher courts whereas cpcb promotes cleanliness and streams and wells and aims to improve the quality of air in the country yes two is correct right that is the function of cpcb and ngt precisely so ngt was constituted in the year 2010 okay and you have to remember one thing about ngt that uh, it does not deal with two acts that is wildlife protection act of 1972 and scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers act of 2006 these two acts are excluded from the jurisdiction of ngt please be very clear about this so that you can use this uh, in eliminating statements all right yes next article giving urban indian a better life okay see here they mentioned the theme of the world cities day that is october 31 this year was financing sustainable urban future for all this is very important not just for upsc prelims but also for other preliminary examinations at different levels state level uh, different spscs okay state public service commission examinations and ssc cgl also so remember this world cities day celebrated on october 31st and the theme is financing sustainable urban future for all in 2023 here they mention a term called green infrastructure this can be a potential question in your preliminary examination we have heard about green infrastructure okay what is green infrastructure 
it is eco friendly infrastructure okay sustainable infrastructure that is called green green infrastructure now we'll see what is green infrastructure all right let us look into the mcq in the context of urban development which term refers to traditional storm water infrastructure components like gutters drains pipes and retention ba basins it is green infrastructure all right so here these pipes they are human built right okay so any infrastructure that is uh, that is coming under this category this particular category that is traditional storm water infrastructure gutters drains pipes and retention basins that is grey infrastructure next previous year question in india the term public key infrastructure is used in the context of see by looking at this particular term public in the first instance you will definitely get into marking the answer wrong because public welfare public uh, schemes uh, are repeatedly there in the news but but public key infrastructure you should be little cautious okay it is dealing with digital security infrastructure because public key and private key are two components of encryption decryption technology okay in uh, digital security infrastructure so this you have to be very careful okay next ahead of fatf review center takes measures to implement suggestions now what is fatf fatf is financial action task force okay in prince perspective the uh, fatf grouping becomes all the more important okay you need to know some basics about fatf fatf was formed in the year 1989 during the G7 summit okay and it is headquartered in paris oecd oecd is related to this fatf i mean the headquarters are the same all the unsc members now russia is absent so four unsc members are presently there and countries from the gulf cooperation and european commission are also members is india a member yes it is in a member but not from 1989 india is a member from 2010 okay now what uh, does this fatf do it deals with money laundering terror financing and it has two lists one is the gray list and black list black list is also known as call for action list okay and gray list is um, uh, uh, monitoring the jurisdiction of countries uh, which are involved more or less involved in the above mentioned activities okay and uh, peer reviewing of laws of member nations pertaining to the above mentioned activities is also an integral part of fatf okay now we'll see the mcq consider the following how many of the countries listed above is are members of financial action task force as we saw uh, p5 countries are there but now russia is kicked off so russia is not a member india is member from 2010 not 1989 united states and france as they are part of p5 they are also there so 1 2 and 3 only 3 yeah next india by becoming a full fledged member of financial action task force will be now why was this question given in 2011 because india became a member of fatf in 2010 so please keep a watch on organizations where india is playing a prominent role and also where india is becoming a member okay will be able to access information on suspect accounts in nations such as switzerland and uk yes this is the right answer okay because we have seen the functions of fatf right and uh, what advantages a country gets you can infer from that yeah next no jurisdiction on plea by deceased up officials wife lokpal okay so the entire article says um, that there was a government official he committed suicide he is no more his wife filed a plea and lokpal says sorry madam we do not have a uh, jurisdiction over that particular case okay so that's about the article yeah consider the following statements with regard to lokpal 
you have to know some basics about lokpal because it is a statutory body now and it it became uh, a statutory body because of people's movement headed by anna hazare ji okay so you have to remember that and in the year some background in the year 1809 it was first in sweden that is the office of ombudsman was first in sweden okay and terms like lokpal and lokayukta were coined by lm singhvi first administrative reforms commission constitute uh, in 1966 actually recommended uh, the office of lokpal and lokayukta all right so these are some basics that you have to know next there is no restriction on who can make a complaint under the lokpal act yeah people anybody can make a complaint but whether they have to take or whether it's in the jurisdiction of lokpal or not that uh, the lokpal guy will tell okay so this is correct the jurisdiction extends to any society or trust or body that receives foreign contribution above 10 lakhs yes the lokpal has the authority to investigate allegations of corruption involving current or former prime ministers union government ministers or members of parliament it does, it is not leaving anybody behind okay so 1 2 and 3 all the statements are correct next the creation of institution of lokpal was first recommended by the administrative reforms commission that's what i mentioned in the basics part yeah next article russia test fires nuclear capable ballistic missile from submarine russia said on sunday it had successfully test launched an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads from one of its submarines the launch of the bulava missile comes as russia ramps up nuclear rhetoric since revoking its ratification of a key nuclear test ban treaty now this is important because they there's there can be a potential question asking you countries and in match the following countries and their missile technology systems all right yeah the bulava missile that has been seen in news recently is a critical component of India's ballistic missile defense system no Moscow's nuclear triad yes it is Russia's um capability system right now what is this terminal high altitude area defense thart sometimes seen in news what is it it is an american anti missile system okay and uh, frequently in news is a term called iron dome it is related to israel iron dome is related to israel israel and iron dome okay now what is india's indigenous anti missile program it is pad prithvi air defense system it is an anti ballistic missile technology okay prithvi why i am telling you all these so that you will remember these and it will be easy for you to eliminate options okay yeah next article the zika genome and insights into the era of emerging outbreaks now what is the gist of the article researchers isolated the virus in 1947 from the monkeys in the zika forest in uganda this is important the first human cases were de- detected in 1952 in uganda and tanzania there have since been outbreaks around the world largely confined to these tropics diagnosis is mostly through genetic testing an antibody based test would be complicated because antibodies produced by the infection can cross react with those of the dengue yellow fever and west nile viruses okay consider the following statements with regard to zika virus Yes, it has RNA genome. It produces acetophenones. No, acetophenones are not directly produced. Okay, now what is a acetophenone? It is a methyl ketone that is acetone in which one methyl group has been replaced with phenyl group. Okay, this is a little bit technical, but just for your information, I mention it produces acetophenones directly. It will not produce it. Okay, so this is gone. Zika virus infection is transmitted primarily by Aedes mosquito yes we all know this and fourth statement in most of the cases zika virus 
uh, are symptomatic. Symptomatic. See here, most of the cases, people actually do not show symptoms. Whatever little we are he uh, hearing in the news is only a um, minute population. Okay. So, this is also wrong. Only two statements are correct. Okay. Consider the following statements. In tropical regions, Zika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmits dengue. Yes. Sexual transmission of Zika virus disease is possible. Of course, yes. Because um, virus can tra transmit very rapidly from one person to other person. And uh, this is also very much possible. So, this is the answer. Next article. Wolbachia, unlikely hero. We will learn about Wolbachia through MCQs. Okay. There is a term called Wolbachia method. Now, what is this Wolbachia method? When Aedes aegypti mosquito carries a Wolbachia bacteria, they compete with viruses like dengue, Zika, chikungunya and yellow fever. So, what will happen? It will make it harder for the viruses to reproduce inside that mosquito. So, spread of the infection will be less. So, that's why we use this Wolbachia technique. Alright? Yeah. MCQ. Wolbachia is an intercellular bacterium which, uh, with unique biological properties. Which of the following statements about Wolbachia is correct? Okay. Wolbachia is a gram-negative bacterium that infects eukaryotic cells by forming symbiotic relationships. Now, what is a gram-negative bacteria? Gram-negative bacteria are genes of bacteria family. They are aerobic bacteria. Okay, They do not retain the crystal violet dye during the procedure of gram staining. Okay, So, they appear pinkish in color when you see under the microscope. So, they are called gram-negative bacteria and they infect eukaryotic cells, yes, by forming symbiotic relationship, yes. So, A is the right answer. Now, Wolbachia method is sometimes talked about with reference to which one of the following. Yeah, I've, I just explained what is Wolbachia technique, right? So, controlling the viral, viral diseases spread by mosquitoes, yes, this is the right answer. Next. This aerial view shows the burnt forest of Evros region near village in Dandia in Greece. So, forest fires. Important topic. The region and country is important. Okay. Dandia National Park, which was in news due to the largest ever recorded forest fire in European Union, is located in which of the countries? It's Greece. Yeah. Indonesian forest fire in 1997 was caused by which of the following? It was caused due to slash and burn technique that is used. Okay, slash and burn technique. So, it is none of the above. It is estimated that about 0.81 to 2.57 gigatons of carbon was emitted into the atmosphere. It was that huge. Okay, so, yeah. Here, the answer is D. Next, center initiates aggressive disposal of onion through NCCF, NAFIT, Kendriya Bandhar and state cooperatives at rupees 25 per kg. Now, what is NAFIT? It is National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation. National Agricultural Cooperative Marketing Federation of India Limited. Okay. So, it was established in the year 1958 on October 2nd and it is a registered under Multi-State Cooperative Societies Act. Some basics about NAFED. Okay. Yeah. Now, we will come into the uh, MCQ. Consider the following statements with regard to NAFED. It was registered under the Companies Act of 2013. No, I just mentioned that it was registered under Multi-State Cooperative Societies Act, not Companies Act of 2013. Okay, so this is gone. It acts as a warehouseman under the Warehouse Act and own and construct its own go-downs and cold storages. Yes, that's why this particular um, onion as a commodity to dispose that, the central government actually uh, chose this. A particular NAFED. Okay. 
Next, it acts as an agent of a government agency or cooperative institution for purchase, sale, storage and distribution of agriculture. Yes, this is also correct. It can advance loans to its members and other cooperative institutions on the security of goods. Yes, it, because it is a cooperative society, it can do this. Okay, so three statements are correct. And next article, PMGKY. Now, what is PMGKY? It is Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. Now, Pradhan Mantri, some basics about Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. It is under Ministry of Finance. Okay. It was in the year 2016 that it came into being. And it was extended during the pandemic to support the economically affected people. Okay. So, these are some basics and we'll get into the MCQ. Consider the following. Delivery of food grains from designated FCI go-downs to the doorstep of the fair price shops. Okay, but what is the question about? How many of the statements listed above is our designated functions of central government under National Food Security Act of 2013? So, that is the question. And now read the statements. Delivery of food grains from designated go-downs to the doorstep of the fair price shops. Yes, this is central government's job. Identification of eligible households? No. See, there are specific central government responsibilities and state government responsibilities. Identification of the beneficiaries or eligible households is the function of state government or the UTs under this act. Okay. And issuing ration cards to them, distribution of food grain to eligible households to fair price shops. And issuing licenses, all these functions come under state government's uh, purview. Okay. Issuance of licenses to fair, yeah, this is also state government's function. Now, do not confuse. Here, the question is specifically asking about central government. So, only one statement is correct. Yeah. Next, with reference to the provisions made under the National Food Security Act of 2013, consider the following statements. The families coming under the category of below poverty line only are eligible to receive subsidy food grains. Here, 90% of the times, only uh, the statement having only is wrong. 10% it may be correct. Okay. However, since a, a NFSA is very important, you need to know some facts. That is, it covers. 75% of rural population and 50% of urban population. That is overall two-third population is covered. So, this is wrong. Okay, when one, you know one is wrong, A is gone, C is gone. Yeah. Now, the eldest woman in a household of the age 18 years or above shall be the head of the household for the purpose of issuing the ration card. This is by inclusion also you can mark this right. There is substantially nothing wrong with this particular statement, right? So, 2 is correct. When you know 2 is correct, B is right. You don't need to read the third statement. So, B is the answer. This is it for today. All the very best.